So you're an industry real estate agent just like me. And who knows, maybe you're at that crossroad in your real estate career and life that you're just looking at what options are readily available to you to help improve and better your future. Well, guess what? I was exactly in that position with my real estate career and life too. And if you can spare with me just some of your time now, I'm going to take you on a little journey to explain all things EXP Realty down under. And who knows, it might just help retransform and propel your entire real estate career and business into the future or transform your life and world as you know it, as it has mine. We're going to take a helicopter view on the most commonly asked questions by industry agents alike when assessing their options and the right vehicle to power and drive their businesses into the future. We're going to jump into a quick presentation. I'm conscious of your time. I know you guys and girls are super busy, but at the conclusion of that presentation and me sharing with you the nuts and bolts of what's most vital to an agent's decision, I'm going to direct you over to a landing page that you can freely and conveniently jump over to at any stage to acquire additional content and information. In that landing page, there also will be a gross commission income calculator where you can privately, confidentially and freely plug in your gross income earnings, your transactions, and it will give you a live snapshot of your current structure versus the value that EXP might be able to add into your life and your business. But without further ado and conscious of your time, let's jump into the presentation. So firstly, welcome. I'm your host, Chris Jansen. There I am. Um, so Chris Jansen, 39 years of age, husband, father, fisherman, active camper, live for all things outdoor, love lifestyle by choice, doing business my way on my terms, offering a quality care of business over a quantity. Um, uh, came from a 14 years in the industry, doing it the traditional way, did everything from the ground up, from being a sales associate, buyer's advocate, doing property management, business development management, um, sales, full-blown sales agent, to then becoming a traditional business owner to now EXP the last two years. I've lived both sides of the fence and I can say with complete conviction, having seen both sides, which one I prefer, I'm not biased because I haven't lived one side. I've absolutely seen both sides and live both sides of the fence. Um, I am building my business my way um, and I'm loving the lifestyle, the freedom and flexibility of choice that I have powered by this incredible cloud-based vehicle that I'll be very clear about. It was built by agents, for agents, and it's owned by its agents. So just to be very clear, the EXP offering is a model for its agents. We are there to serve the agents. We are a service offering for its agents. We are not there to attract consumers in the way of sellers and buyers. This is a product purely built to support its agents. My why EXP? Well, my why is going to be different to your why, and I'd rather talk about your why than my why, but I'll just share with you that picture is my why, and I'm sure it might be similar to some of us, but coming from being a traditional business owner, I felt very stuck, almost like a tree with a root in the ground. The business was always solely reliant on me. I was working copious amounts of days and hours, and I wasn't creating the lifestyle, the freedom, and the choices that I really wanted to by my choice and doing. Um, so I chose to part ways from that model. I could see the innovation was here with cloud-based industry disruptors. I mean, if we look at the likes of Netflix, what it did to Blockbuster, if we look at net banking, Amazon to retail, Uber to taxis of the like, the list goes on. I could see what was happening overseas. It was only a matter of time before it started to disrupt our marketplace and industry here in Australia. Uh, I'm a bit of a thrill seeker. I love innovation. I love being at the forefront. I love backing myself in. I don't need proven runs or results, I'll go into the unknown and I love venturing into the unknown. Um, but my YXP was family, choice, freedom, autonomy, flexibility, no partnerships, doing business my way, 100% ownership by me. Uh, so that's my why. But as I said, I'll be more interested to learn about your why if you want to chat further at the conclusion of this. Who suits EXP? This is a common question we get. Well, there's, it's not you know, one brand fits all. Um, uh, two ways you can come into XP. Firstly, pay YG commission only agents. So you're employed by the company, you have an employment agreement, you get paid fortnightly, your tax and superannuation is all done for you. Um, you don't have to pay, pay any supplier invoices. Uh, there are some minimum national employment law requirements we need to comply with. We treat that on a case by case basis and it's approved by the licensee respectively in the state that you're coming into XP in, if it's in Australia. 
Uh, independent contractors, they, uh, that's myself, where I operate as a PTY LTD. This has some great benefits. If you're writing a certain level of income, you've got some tax problems. Um, but essentially what happens, um, I get paid within a day or two of settlement. I get paid everything if I'm registered for GST as well. Um, but I have to do my own tax. I have to do my own super. I run expenses my way. Everything's done pre-tax. Whereas PAYG commission only agents, obviously all your taxes are already done for you and then you paid the net figure there afterwards. So you're running your expenses uh, post-tax obviously as well. Um, if you're an independent contractor, uh, simply you need to have your RLA, Diploma of Property Services, depending on what state you're in. If you're a PAYG commission only agent, minimum requirement in South Australia, um, which I'm the licensee for in South Australia, uh, you just need your certificate for completed and statement of attainment according, accordingly. Um, the people before you and in front of you picture are all different walks of life. Like we have young entrepreneurial aspiring agents there who want to sell in excess of 100 homes a year. They want to write that lavish million dollars in gross commission earnings or more. This model will suit them. We have mums and dads there that are pure lifestyle agents. So they only want to sell two, three, four homes a month because it's more important for them to have every second weekend off it's really vital that they're there for the kids' school pickup and drop off, and they might want to only work three or four days a week out of the seven day week. We have people that are five years out from retiring and they're using EXP as the vehicle to provide additional uh, funding for their retirement. We'll get into that in a moment through additional revenue streams, but also through the commission splits. But they might only want to sell a couple of homes a month at most. They can do that with a very robust, affordable, nimble subscription cost EXP as they build into their retirement aspirations. Um, so we have everything from mums, dads, husbands, wives, young guys, young girls, through to grandparents, I'm sure. Um, it, it's not one size fits all. You don't have to be the highest performing person in the environment to suit this. Um, we tailor it depending on what your own entrepreneurial aspirations are, but more importantly, what your why is. The commission split. So this is probably the most common question from industry agents is, what is the split? So there's no deals here, right? Let me be very clear. There's no deals in EXP from one industry agent to the next, regardless of how much gross income you bring in, what you do or you don't do. So the split is simply this. You get 75% up to your first 100,000 in gross commission income, okay? After that, you become what we call and deem a capped agent. So once you re reach 100,000 in gross commission earnings, you are capped as an agent. And this is really important because it's something that is synonymous overseas, but it's starting to encroach here in Australia. And a capped agent is essentially somebody who caps their commission payout within their work anniversary year. They don't continue to penalise themselves on performance by the more that they write and produce, the more they're paying out. So our agents, all of them, once they hit 100,000 gross commission, their commission payout is capped. They've been on 75% up to the 100,000. Once they cap at 100,000, they automatically tick over onto 100% there afterwards. Now, the real important thing to note here, there are no franchise or royalty fees that come off the top. To be very clear, if you get a commission offering, is it 75% deducting 4%, 5, 6, 8, 10%? which really brings you back down to 70, 65%. Our agents are keeping 100% of 75% up to 100,000 gross commission income. Then once they hit 100,000 gross commission income, anything they tick over that is 100% of 100%. No franchise or royalty fees off the top. There's a 275 transaction fee that is payable each transaction to EXP. That's part of EXP's revenue, which I'll dive into a bit more detail shortly. That can be passed on to your vendor or seller check the state respectively that you operate in. Where I'm based here as licensee in South Australia, we can pass that on as an administration or file transaction fee to our vendor. The shares. The shares for me is a bit like superannuation. I'm sure you're all familiar with superannuation. Look at shares the same way. Superannuation gets paid to your superannuation portfolio, depending on what age you are. It goes up, it goes down, but it just sits there autonomously and builds for your time. Well, guess what? We now have the ability as real estate industry agents to build another pillar portfolio off the back of the transactions that we're autonomously doing year in, year out. Let me dive into that in a bit more detail. Agents can become shareholders at eXp Realty. So as I said before, EXP Realty, the model, was built by agents for agents and it's owned by its agents. We trade on the NASDAQ. 
We are a publicly listed company on the NASDAQ. You can look us up, EXPI. You can see our trading performance. I think it's hovering between $14 and $16 at time of shooting this video. But as I said, these shares go into my portfolio. They go up, they go down like superannuation, but it's another vehicle outside of superannuation that I can leverage from when it comes time to my preservation retirement age. It is administered by ShareWorks and Morgan Stanley. Obviously, we've got obligations and commitments as a publicly listed company. You can earn shares on your first transactions. So the first transaction you do, you get $300 in Australian dollars in shares. You earn shares when you fully cap. So when you cap at that 100,000 gross commission income year on year, you get $600 for capping. You can earn shares when an agent you sponsor closes their first transaction. Another $600 in share if you introduce other like-minded entrepreneurial agents to the EXP network. We'll get into that in a bit more detail in the rev share in a moment. But you can also, salary sacrifice is almost how I'd look at this. You can enrol to be paid 5% of every net transaction commission you earn with a stock purchase at a 10% discount. So what that means is if you're on a 100% commission, maybe you've got a tax problem and you want to invest 5% of your income towards share buying additional shares in EXPI, stock and shares, you can buy 5%, you can offset 5% as a salary sacrifice to buy shares and you get a 10% discount for that salary sacrifice in purchasing those shares. What a great way to invest and be a part of your future retirement. And I want to be very clear here with this. Here with shares, you're investing into your future, not somebody else's, because as an agent, automatically you're an owner within this business. Shares are not printed upwards to the board of directors, the CEOs, uh, whatnot, like a lot of traditional networks and brands. With EXP, our revenue is redistributed back out to its agents in the form of shares, but also the next slide, which I'll lead into, the icon and then revenue share. So the second way you can accumulate shares is by becoming an icon agent. Now, I fortunately have been a back-to-back -back icon agent year on year since coming into EXP. And essentially, I want you to look at this as if you're a real estate agent. That 25% that I paid out in the 75% I'm on up to $100,000, I have the ability to be rebated and compensated back up to $21,000 out of that $25,000 I pay out up to the first 100,000, being on 100,000, 75% uh, commission split. Let's have a look at what that looks like. The ICOM. The ICOM will receive $15,000 in Australian dollars of EXPI stock, which has a three year vesting period. Now, the reason we have a vesting period, absolutely our model is about attraction and growth, but it's also about retention. We wanna make sure we're adding value ongoingly to all our agents within the network because we are a network that serves the agents we are here for the agents we have a vesting period for three years on that fifteen thousand. so the last two years i've qualified each year and i've got thirty thousand in uh expi stock shares i've got one year left of my three-year vesting period once that one year is up i can do as i choose with those shares i can invest more i can cash out whatever i choose main thing is i've accumulated thirty thousand alone for the last two years in EXPI stocks as a rebate back for qualifying to be an ICON agent. It's like being given money back for you and I continuing to list and transact property. Now to qualify to be an ICON agent, you have to be a capped agent having written that 100,000 in gross commission income within your work anniversary year. Once you've done that tick, you can then either settle 350,000 in gross commissions with a minimum of 10 transactions, or if you don't quite reach $350,000 in gross commissions, you settle at least 20 transactions post capping the 100,000 gross income. So there, the three criteria, you've got to get two out of the three. Number one, you must cap, earn the 100,000. Secondly, either write 350,000 in gross commission income, with a minimum of 10 transactions, or if you don't reach 350 trans, uh, 350,000 in gross commission earnings, but you settle 20 transactions after writing $100,000, you'll qualify as an icon agent. You'll be rebated back 15,000 Australian dollars in the EXBI stock. The next tier, is you can receive an additional $6,000 in EXPI stock, which comes with a two-year vesting period. Now, to qualify for this, it's simply a matter of becoming an ICOM mentor to other like-minded EXP members within our national network with a minimum of six sessions. 
So I've put my hand up for this because absolutely I'm investing in my own future, not somebody else's. And I would rather $21,000 each year coming back into my share portfolio, transacting, going up, going down, whatever it's doing. But over a period of time, it's accumulating towards my retirement. Now, to get the $6,000, I can put my hand up. You don't have to. It's opt-in or opt-out. And I can train other EXP agents. And it's pretty much a sharing open national session of collaboration where we help lift up other exp agents and in those sessions i share with them openly what tech i'm doing what marketing i'm doing what prospecting i'm doing what scripts and dialogues do i know that work and don't work with a changing market what is it that i've learned over the last 14 15 years of my career industry i'm serving it up to each and every agent to pick and choose what they would like to learn from me within those icon sessions if i do six of those I then partially qualify to receive the additional 6,000. Then from there, all I need to do is participate in iConversation, Icon Mastermind and or Icon Talk. If I do that, the licensee respectfully for your state will say, Chris, you've been a great, great contributor towards our culture. You help uplift and empower our other agents. You help skill them up with expertise and knowledge. You've done your six sessions. You've participated in the I conversations, the mastermind and the talk. We're signing off on you for this year. You'll get another $6,000 in EXPI stocks. So for the last two years, I've qualified for both of these each and every year, which has amassed $42,000 in EXPI stocks. And again, it's an investing period, so I can't touch it. But again, investing in your future, play the long-term game like property, you get ahead. My super sitting there is one column pillar of income for my future retirement. I've now got these shares that are building and accumulating because I'm qualifying for this each year. Share market goes up, share market goes down. But over the long period of time, that portfolio is also building for my retirement. The rev, this is a revenue share. So for those agents that wish to choose to build a team and attract other like-minded agents, which I absolutely love doing to help other agents within the industry become empowered and entrepreneurial and to uh, live the life of freedom within this model. Um, the revenue share component is a component that EXP rewards you and I as agents for introducing other agents. And I don't know any other business that does this. Uh, I'm sure there's traditional businesses that you, know, you might get um, a, a little thank you gift or whatever it might be, a, a small upfront monetary amount if you bring in a performing agent. But this is a passive lifetime legacy payment. I want to be very clear. This revenue share that you build through introducing other agents and building a team under you and a downline, it's a payment for the lifetime and the legacy of that payment. And it's also transferable to your kids, your grandkids. Now, how powerful is that? That's truly the entrepreneurial spirit. If you could get up tomorrow not having to worry about that next listing, that next land, next transaction, transaction, because many agents are generally broke within naught to 90 days, hence why they're always focusing on that next listing, that next transaction, that, that next opportunity. This is a way of recession-proofing your life for life. There's many agents within our network globally that have been able to get off the tools of listing and transacting and built an income, in some cases, a six-figure income that comes in every month through this opportunity. Um, revenue share is paid directly by EXP on the 21st of e each month. Revenue, 50% of EXP's revenue is distributed back out to its agents. So some agents will say to me, how does EXP survive with paying this out to the agents? Well, it's simply this. Number one, we have no debt in our business, right? We have no expensive bricks and mortar real estate. Okay, it's a subscription based, low cost, affordable model, both to EXP, both to its agent. However, the real difference here is, is all the revenue EXP generates from its um, agent subscription revenue and its transaction revenue, 50% of that is retained within EXP to run its operative costs. The other 50% goes back out to its agents in the form of revenue. Um, it doesn't go up the chain to those board of directors and those CEOs and CFOs and general managers. It comes down and gets redistributed out to its agents. So in this example here, and I won't dive too much into it, if you've got some questions about the rev, reach out to me directly. Um, but essentially in tier one, let's say if you introduce someone in under you, right, they become your tier one, right? If they brought in a $15,000 commission, you potentially have the scope to be paid $525 revenue share check back to you it's because you get 3.5% off the person that you bring into your tier one. 
okay? That's just a quick example, but I want you to think of it like this. It's like a mortgage broker with their trail commission, okay? The mortgage broker gets paid their commission up front when the deal settles and the financial transaction has been completed. But for the life of that loan, that mortgage broker will be trickled a trailing fee for the life of that loan by the bank or the finance lender. It's the same here. So look at it that way. Revenue share within EXP is a lifetime legacy payment paid on the 21st of every month to its agent. It comes out of EXP's 50% revenue share. It doesn't come off the agent's commission. It doesn't come off the top of the sponsored agent or the sponsee. It comes 50% out of EXP's revenue. And it's like a trailing commission, like a mortgage broker. Think of it that way. Uh, the subscription, I've put the Netflix picture up there for a reason because I want you to think of this like Netflix. You can subscribe in, you can subscribe out. You're not locked into contracts. We don't bound, we don't bind people contractually indefinitely for a length of time because we're about adding value to the agent, their life, their wealth. So the subscription is simply this, 220 per month. And that applies to both a POYG commission only agent and a PTY LTD independent contractor agreement. Within that 220 month, you get unlimited administration support. So I want you to think of this, whatever you get in a traditional office environment is exactly what you're getting in the 220 per month. Um, the unlimited administration support includes all your listings processed for you, all your compliance done for you and checked, uh, all your contract to settlement taken care of, all your uh, trust accounting and receipting is done for you. You get unlimited technical support. If you look at the expense to businesses in IT support, it goes into the thousands of dollars per year to run a business with IT support. It includes all your systems and portals. So as I said, like a traditional real estate business, for 220 a month, you'll get everything the same. Realestate.com.au, Premier Plus, Premier All, Domain, Cloud Technology, um, CRM, agent box of the like. Again, I won't dive too much into this. The landing page will share some more information about the tech systems and innovation we've got available to us. All your supply invoices are paid and done for you. Business owners, how stressful is it when you get those invoices coming in with 14-day payment terms to balance and manage business cash flow? It's the most stressful time in any business owner's life is cash flow 101. Well, guess what? We alleviate, we take that pressure away from you because we just want you to focus on listing and transacting. All your supply invoices are done for you. You do not see any supplier invoices. PAYG commission only agents, uh, your payroll is done for you automatically. You get paid fortnightly and your tax and superannuation is automatically done. PTY LTD payment processing is done for you. So I'm a PTY LTD, as I said, I get paid within a day or two of settlement. EXP actually invoices me to show me what I've been paid, what's inclusive, GST, whatever, total commission. I get an invoice from them confirming that. All your trust accounting and deposit receiving is done for you, as I mentioned. You also get full licensee support in each one of your respective states for mentoring and growth support, but also for compliance. So my role as the licensee in South Australia is to not bog my agents down the guys and girls on the ground with compliance because they just want to list and sell. So I make sure I check all their compliance and paperwork to make sure everything's above board so they don't have to worry about compliance. You will get sponsor support. So if you join EXP, look to align yourself with the sponsor that you want to get the best value from but have clear expectations what you expect from that sponsor. Is it a sponsor you're going to because they're great in the digital space and you want to lean on them for support in your digital space? Then go with that sponsor. Is it someone you want on the ground who can run your opens, go to a listing presentation, help you close a contract, align yourself with that sponsor? Um, whatever the sponsor is, just make sure you align yourself with the right sponsor and you have clear expectations of that sponsor before day one. The subscription is paid month by month and you can leave EXP at any time with 30-day notice, right? So again, subscribe in, opt out whenever you choose. But if we're adding value, we like to think you'll stay with us forever. If not, 30-day notice. 275 per transaction fee, as I said before, is transferable onto the vendor. Just check with your states in South Australia. I know you can do that. This is the most important part here, guys and girls. If you can take this away today, this is where a lot of agents build the goodwill and intellectual property of somebody else over their life's worth of career. Your intellectual property and data as we know it has the most significant value over anything else in today's world. You get to keep all your data, you get to keep all your clients and sold results. All the intellectual property that you put in, if you were to unsubscribe and leave EXP, automatically goes out and goes to you. 
you keep it. Now imagine that. Imagine if you wanted to go do something different or you wanted to get out of the industry or whatever it is, or if you wanted to sell your data, whatever it might be. The main thing is the intellectual property retained by you always and forever. No one owns it. It's your goodwill. You do the work and you rightfully deserve to own it. Super powerful stuff. The freedom. So I guess, you know, I relate a lot to this. Um, Why well, I went from traditional business ownership to this way. Uh, it absolutely gave me more freedom to, uh, you can be your own boss. Um, so, you know, you, you don't have to answer to anyone. You don't have to be told when to go into the office, when you can leave to go home, how many days you have to work, when to put in the leave form, what days you can and can't have off. You have the op opportunity to brand it your way. So if you're a PAYG commission only agent, your licensee in your state will just make sure your um, branding conforms some degree to the XP requirements. Generally, it's just the XP Realty logo there somewhere and the applicable RLA or license number. Um, if you're a PTY LTD, you can brand any way you choose, your color, your flavor, your logo, however you want it to look, which takes me to the next point. You get to be your own brand. We're all about branding you as the agent, not the brand that you might work for because you don't work for a brand here. We work for you as EXP Realty, the agent. You get to market, prospect and prosper your way. This is really important. There's no red tape, no corporate red tape. You don't have to go to this marketing department, whether they're local or interstate to get all these approvals if you wanna implement a marketing or prospecting initiatives. We empower you to brand it, market it, prospect and prosper your way. Leave behind the daily commute into the office every day. Well. If current petrol prices are anything to go off, how much could you save not having to commute into the office each and every day? But more importantly, how much noise and distraction can be in an office environment? And how much can you be more productive by saving that time each and every day and week, times that by a month, a quarter, a year, if you could reclaim that time and put it back into working on your business instead of driving to your business, what would that mean for you? You can build your own or keep your existing property management assets separate to XP. This was really lucrative for me. Uh, I want to build and I am building a property management asset. It's completely separate to EXP. They have no involvement, nothing to do with it, which I think is great because like some traditional models, you might build your property management asset organically as I am, but then they might charge a percentage on your total revenue each month for building that asset. Whereas here, the asset is 100% mine and I 100% retain the revenue for that asset. You get to spend more time at home with your loved ones. I mean, if COVID didn't teach us this to, to do more of this, and I don't know what the silver lining gift of COVID was, but how cool would it be if you could just choose to spend more time at home with your husband, your wife, your partner, your fur babies, your kids? Um, it's what life's about. And that's what this freedom lifestyle model is absolutely about creating a balance that suits you, your life, your business, and your clientele. It's no longer about having to be the hardest worker, the first one in and the last to leave. We have more agents that are writing six-figure income that are working three, four days a week, taking every second, third weekend off than having to work the traditional six, seven days a week, 12, 14-hour days. Which leads me to the next point. You get to create the work-life balance you desire. And I say this from good experience. I'm currently traveling Australia in the caravan with my family while still spinning my business back home. Because we're cloud-based, we're online. I've got a team that's fully supportive of me and what I'm doing. I've been able to create this lifestyle of freedom for that reason. I'm no longer that tree with that big root stuck in that bricks and mortar location. I can pick up, leave and take and plant my business wherever I see fit. You can absolutely offer a better client value proposition due to reduced operative costs. Now, if you want to go into business, operative costs are the biggest things that kill businesses from day one, such as rent, wages, subscription costs. Now, I know at minimum, it's around $24,000 a month to run a real estate traditional business lean. Once you pay your rent, your outgoings, your expenses, your subscription costs. So if you look at the XP proposition, you're already ahead there. You get to collaborate instead of compete. Now, you might or might not be able to relate to this, but in an office environment, it can be fiercely competitive. In fact, sometimes you might even be competing against the same data contact against for the same client, 
for the same appraisal opportunity. There's very much these walls between one agent to the next, even though you're working in the same environment under the same brand and banner. With us, we collaborate online, together nationally, virtually and globally. And there are no geographical borders or restrictions between where our agents can choose to move and take on business. You can stop giving away so much of your hard earned money. So important, and I mentioned it above, at what level of income do you have to write and produce before you stop your commission payout? And if you can't answer that question, new age models like ours are here to help you cap how much your commission you're paying out year after year, because this isn't a job. This is a lifestyle and career of your choice and doing. You can join 82 plus thousand entrepreneurial agents globally now. That's just ticked over 83,000. When I started uh, a short two and a bit years ago, we were just over 21,000 agents. Fast forward two years now, we are just ticked over 83,000 agents. There must be a reason why more agents are getting on board and enjoying the freedom that this model provides. The real proof. So if you want to look into it a little bit further, do your own research. As I did, I literally jumped onto YouTube and immersed myself into every video I could find about EXP Realty. And I actually found there was more videos about EXP Realty than any other brand or real estate model I could really find out there. Because a lot of the video content that's being distributed out there is being done by its agents like me sharing their story. And I couldn't fault it. I couldn't find a bad video. So have a look on platforms such as YouTube um, or hear it from former franchise to burnt out agents, former business owners to now EXP transition myself and even listen to EXP support staff. Jump over to my own YouTube channel, Chris Jansen EXP Realty. I run a podcast series called Walk the Talk. Um, my good man, Buri Sun, is featured there. We talk about their story, their walk of life, where they come from, where they're at now. Buri, Cambodian genocide, came here with very little but his clothes on his back migrated over to Australia, started in real estate as an associate, almost got burnt out, was about to leave. Um, fortunately, I was able to meet him at that time in his life. He's now come over to EXP in, in a short, less than 12 months, he's forex his income, he's bought his first home and he's gotten married. Super powerful stuff. We've got people who have been burnt out business owners like myself, now creating the lifestyle of abundance and freedom and choice and flow. Um, but hear it from other agents. You can also jump onto the YouTube channel, as I said, and hear it from support staff. I've interviewed support staff, mums who have come from traditional real estate offices as administrator and support staff to agents in traditional offices to now working from home and supporting our agents nationally. And in many of these video uh, episodes, many of them consistently say, that they couldn't go back to the traditional office because they have the same freedom and flexibility to support our agents nationally. When they start, when they're finished, it's their choosing as long as the work is completed on a daily basis to give and support what our agents need nationally. We have some who love to get in and support our agents in chunks of time, 6 a.m. They might do the school drop-off, have brunch with the girlfriends, come in, do the work, support the agents nationally, go do the school pickup, do a bit more work, finish for the day. We empower our support staff to be their own bosses in their own rights, like we do our agents within this model. Don't be shy. Ring a current EXP practicing agent and hear it from them. Um, hear their story. So if you want to join or you just want to ascertain a little bit more information, we don't treat this as you coming to us and please give me a, a, an opportunity and a job in the industry. No, this is the opposite. There's no expectations here. If you join us, we'd love you part of our team, but would rather demonstrate to you our value first. And often what I do is I will show agents live how we operate and how we do things. I don't often catch up for cafe latte chit chats because often I find in those meetings, there can be a lot of promises made, decisions then taken, but those promises not always upheld as to what the agent experiences once they make that move. I'd rather cancel the coffee date, jump in live with you and show you openly the way EXP business and model works to support agents like me and agents nationally and globally, 83,000 in excess of now, how we do business to support our agents the EXP Realty way. But if you'd like to join, you can reach out to me anytime. Uh, look me up on my socials. I'm on Facebook, uh, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. Look up Chris Jansen. You won't find too many people with a surname similar to that. You can send me an email. Please understand every 
contact or reach out is treated with the utmost respect with respect to your privacy, your confidentiality. Or you can jump over to this landing page, freedomagentsunite.com, to have a look at a little bit more information freely, discreetly and privately in your own time. There's that gross commission income calculator you can plug in there. You can just have a look there. But please understand, we are not here to offer you a job. We are here as a model and vehicle to power your business so you can live the life of your choice and doing, but more importantly, to run your business your way. I'm Chris Jansen, proudly from EXP Realty. Thanks for joining me on this EXP Explain. Bye for now.